to Monday how are we all doing today so yeah so this morning Bone woke up a quarter to six really screaming like he was in pain again somewhere give him some cow pole and it's really settled him down which is good but um I don't know his, his cheeks seem to be quite inflamed here so I don't know if he's got okay like I say it could be a problem with his wisdom teeth he took his temperature his temperature is absolutely fine which is great um so I don't think it can be Anyway, yeah, I um, also woke up to dust in the snow, which was really lovely to see. I didn't expect it, to be honest, because it was supposed to snow yesterday and it never happened. It's just started to snow a little bit again now, but it's more sleety stuff with it, so I don't think it'll settle. I know that the boys' taxi hasn't turned up again this morning. I really, really don't know why. Obviously, I can't blame the weather, because obviously Ben's carers come in this morning to help, and they've come all the way from Birmingham. They still all the main roads and everything else are completely fine. There's no issues. So they can't increase the weather. These taxi companies are very, very unreliable, but they are really, really big time. I know they are looking for a new taxi company and also the PA who's actually trained in challenging behaviour so they can actually take Ben on the bus and, be, and then not be too worried when he does start doing this to thing like that. Also going to put the hands back on his bus as well. So just getting ready to do Joe Wicks. Okay, and bless him saying he wants to do Joe Wicks. He said that happened a day off school. So when he speak to Stephen, when obviously it break when he takes me at break time, see what he says and things like that. But again, I think maybe if the snow does come too heavy, obviously we'll keep him off. But for now I go to school this afternoon. This morning he done his Joe Wicks. He said he was absolutely sweaty. You can actually see little sweats on his face where he joined in. But at least he took part in the injury, which was really good. Um, I know it's about doing the shout outs and things like that. I tried to give a shout out to Sammy, but so many people watching, he stood no chance to be able to get, get in the shout out. Um, <coughs> bless you, sweetheart. I see Ben's actually sneezing, but he's actually um, watching Moana. Mm -hmm. He absolutely loves Moana. He loves The Rock. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he watches it for, because he can actually say Maui, believe it or not, which is really quite cute. You can see he's on his board now. Oh, he was watching Moana. He's on his board now. He's actually playing in the Century Centre. So, anyway, yeah, it's also started to snow quite heavy again now, but I don't think it's going to settle now, because the ground's so wet. Anyway, yeah, obviously, Sam also done some of his uh, workbook things. I got, they're great, those workbooks are. Just 10, 15 minutes a day. It's all it needs. It's all the thing. So, um, fingers crossed. They should be back to school tomorrow. Left message to the taxi company, haven't got back to me yet. This goes to prove how useless and how, and how unreliable they are. Um, obviously, like I said, Stephen's off on Wednesday, so for definite, they're doing a full day on Wednesday. 
and I also Stephen's off on Fridays because I can do four day then. So, because what I can gather, Stephen's gonna try and start doing like stripping the wallpaper or Sam's room on Wednesday, ready to decorate it on um, Friday and possibly Saturday as well. So, we just need, I think Stephen needs to check whether his wallpaper paste he's got in the garage is suitable. If not, we, so we can always go back on being q and get some on Wednesday after you've got the kids off at school because being honest with all we are, it's hopeless, don't sell nothing like that at all. So I know also his curtains and his duvet cover to match his wallpaper coming on Friday, Saturday. So actually if we'll do a nice big real room tour for you probably Sunday. Best of no so looking forward to getting his room done. And we've been promising for ages to get it done. Because obviously things like we locked down issues with them. And also finance the situation. We just haven't enough to get it done. So this time we'll get it done for him. It's like I said, he deserves it as well. Because especially with what he's, what he's gone through. He's, he's been suffering as so well like the rest of us. So yeah, anyway, so I spoke to Stephen. And we decided to just keep the boys off today. Because obviously we don't know what's going to happen to Snow. Um, especially if we don't get him to school. And until he gets too heavy to close the schools down. You right, Ben? You right? What's the matter? Are you getting hungry? It is getting hungry snack time though isn't it so obviously with Ben everything's a routine he likes his snacks at a certain time what's the matter what do you want what do you want give him a kiss if that's something give me a kiss good boy it's gonna get you done a biscuit Ben you sure you won't come out here darling oh, well, obviously we just changed Ben oh, and he's just opened the door he actually needs to come out himself hasn't he yeah. I tell you what Ben it's chilly if you won't come out here darling you put your coat on it is freezing cold bless him you know what he's looking at don't you look at the wind blowing the trees Mm. But that's a good sign, you know, that he's come out by himself, isn't it? Real good sign that is. <laughs> he's all right, darling. So yeah, she's just come back in the last thirty seconds, but I don't blame him actually. So at least you're now, didn't you, darling? Yeah. Yeah, I promise you. Think, hopefully, fingers crossed, things will get warm. We're going to things get back to normal. We're going to get back out again, aren't we, my darling? All right. No, your fingers crossed. We're back to school probably tomorrow. You're right. What have you found? What have you found? Uh, what's that? No. So yeah, so back. Um, I was gonna say last Christmas. It was not. It was Christmas 2019 actually. To put, um, I got this for my sister and her fiance for Christmas. Obviously, they're the ones you can actually um, frame. Obviously, if I had my way, I frame more 12. But I haven't got room for 12. I've got room for three, possibly four. And I can't make my mind up which ones I want because I just love them all. So if you could help me decide which ones you like. Obviously, the first one I've got, um, Donald Duck. I do like this one. I think that's quite cute. Pinocchio. Snow White. Cinderella. Lady and the Tramp, no, I do like this, I do like the Lady and Tramp one, but more quick to show you, this is what I like about them, is obviously they've got the DM attached edge here, and obviously you can frame them, I just need to get the uh, proper sizes for them. Sleeping Beauty. And then they need to get July's. Mickey Mouse, again, I do like the Mickey Mouse one as well. And I'll guess they've got Jungle Book. September is 101 Dalmatians. Now I see why I'm saying if I have my way, I'm afraid them all. October, you've got Alice in Wonderland. November is Peter Pan. And then December is Dumbo. You enjoy watch the big old, my darling. You love Big Old Big Old, don't you? That is smile as well. It's on the Ponty Pines, isn't it? Do you know what? I've forgotten um, how long it is actually since Big Old, um, the Night Garden first started. I know Sammy watched it. What day? Is what, what, darling? What day it started? I don't know. I'm just going to check Google and find out when it first started. I wasn't too quite sure. Oh. I know I, I know you used to love Way Blue, didn't you? Yeah. You wasn't all that keen on the Night Garden. You used to watch it. Your favourite was Way Blue, wasn't it? Uh, so yes, yeah, so you can see he's really happy. Somehow he's managed to put his one fish chewy tubes, managed to tangle it around your little slinky. Mm. And then I'm not going to take it off of you. I just wonder how you've managed to tangle it all up. I really don't know. 
Yeah, that's, yeah that's not too bad, dear. If you really don't live with up and down. Just like I said, back to school tomorrow, aren't we? Stuff like that. We didn't want to go to school this afternoon, doesn't go because they did forecast heavy snow, but nothing come off Lovely. of it. So. And then I got started on the 19th of March, 2007. I did it. Okay, thank you, Sammy, darling. So, yeah. Hi. Hey. You like that? Don't we? So, leave your lines. You can watch it in peace. Obviously, because we've always used in like garden part of Ben's bedtime routine, so something mm, he's used to. We don't want to change it. Well, then, guys, that brings Monday to a close. And once again, we've had an issue with transport again today. Sammy hasn't gone to school again and I um, have no idea why. There's no reason why the transport hasn't turned up oh, because there was hardly any snow on the ground this morning. Was there, Cheryl? No, I don't know why. They're just afraid. They're just afraid. Well, I've got to Yeah, plus continuing, there's no answers about what's going to go on in the future at the moment. You know, we all discuss things about whether or not Ben needs a wheelchair to assist him, basically keep him from stop laying on the floor all the time. So no one's really given us any answers whether or not we need to use one or not. And the fact is, transport want to know, do we need to use one or require a vehicle that needs space for one? But we're waiting on the so-called professionals to tell us if Ben needs to have a wheelchair or not. And it's Cheryl. <coughs> oh yeah, but not being assistant like that, um, you need to come around this side. He's making me move the camera. Oh, okay. So I say, not being nasty and like that. Over the weekend, over today, he spent quite a lot of time on his feet, hasn't he, really? Yeah, I was surprised earlier on when he went out the back. I was like, whoa, what's going on here? He actually done it twice, believe it oh, or speak, not. Speaking of the devil, here he comes. Here we go. What's the matter, darling? Well, I bet he wants another biscuit or something for what pudding. For, for his Hang lunch. on, let me come around that way, darling, because mummy's got a laptop Back there. in a minute. And as you can see, guys, Ben is after his belly again. He's after his biscuit, aren't you? Bless yeah. him. So he probably wants to say, he wants his milk as well, doesn't he? Bless well, you see what I mean with him? He's just... Yeah, if I could have a magic wand and wave it, I'd just love to know what would be able to get him back to his usual routine again. You know, I feel like there's, you know, people to blame for where he's gone, you know. They're the one who caused the issues with the transport to be removed. You know, the same issues with the same things where, you know, people are moaning all the time about Ben. It just does your head in, doesn't it? It does. I think this is another reason why when we do get the transport sort of done, they want the PA. That's going to... Put up with it. And a driver that is trained in trying to pay for like Ben's car. But like I said, he hasn't been he's, he's been really good today. I think we've only had a couple of instances where him banged his ears, doesn't he? I think that's because he couldn't get his own way because we said no to risk it for him. <laughs> we'll see now we're getting at bedtime again. We all did. That's like the problem with struggling with him at his bedtime we need a minute. I get fed up with every day with this. It's like same more routine, you know. You know and when when Ben's gonna do it now. It's like you know, is he doing it on purpose? That's one thing I keep asking myself. Like exactly, last night. exactly. But then again, we worked it all out. It's an hour after he's had his epilim. So we don't know where it's the side effect of his epilim because we was looking at the side effects last night. And it does say side effects can get worse in adolescence. I'll tell so, you what, you check up on Google and check up on the actual paperwork that comes from the bottle. The amount of side effects that come with epilim is unreal. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, guys. What can I say? I want to get on with Sammy's room this week. Hopefully I'm going to get a chance and then all of a sudden we find out Friday is a inset day at school and school's closed and it's not even on the holiday sheet. I'm thinking, what's going on here now? It's like, I have no idea anymore. Oh no, but he said he's going to strip his wall on Wednesday for a bit and hopefully start paper from on Friday. But you know the time we like, he'll keep coming out. Can we help? Can we help? I think I can do. Let's see him. Anyway guys, yeah, thank you very much for joining us today and uh, well, I know we're all feeling down in the dumps with everything, what's going on at the moment. Yeah, it's not like anything's performing really, you know, Liverpool are absolutely terrible at the moment. But, you know, can't be helped, you can't win every game, you know, every team has a bad spell. You know, all of a sudden, in about a month's time, we could be looking at a different team. Who knows? Anyway, so we'll see you tomorrow for... What Tuesday. day is it? It's not Sunday again, is it? <laughs> anyway, guys, see you tomorrow for Tuesday. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.